G'day guys. Uh, yes, it's finally here. I finally got it. Uh, it took some time. If you've uh, followed the uh, saga on Facebook, yeah, it's uh, taken some time to get here. But anyway, here it is. Uh, the Supersonic uh, Fender Pawn Shop in Sparkle Red. Try to get a good shot of that. Let me show you some sparkles. Very, very sparkly. Very sparkly. Obviously the upside down headstock, that's got to be killer. That rocks the shape, really quite unusual, which is obviously uh, a comeback from the uh, the old Squire Supersonic, which they made, which is kind of interesting that Fender actually making a, a copy or a reissue of a, a Squire, even down to the point where they've actually put in the old plate. Um, double the humbuckers, quite a lot of power in these two, and also the fact that you can turn these volumes on and off so you can physically um, use the toggle switch as you would with a Gibson Les Paul. So two volume controls, uh, no tone. Things that are probably not so cool about it. When I got it, the bridge was really, really elevated quite high. And um, I don't use the tremolo a heck of a lot. So anyway, I've um, you know pushed the, uh, the screws back down a bit more so that the actual bridge is sitting flush into the body, which keeps it in tune and you can do double bends and things like that, double stops. Problem with that now is that as a result, you can see the, where the string holes would go and there's no gaps for that so when changing the strings I'm going to have to remove all that every time. Um, my guess is uh, the old uh, Mexican uh, Fender Man probably didn't put the, uh, the plate where it should have been. Um, something else that I spotted actually listening back to the, um, the recordings which you're about to listen to in a minute. You actually play a chord there's a lot of resonance that actually comes out of those, so nothing a, a little uh, duvalaka can't fix over here, but that's probably going to need one. Finding a case for this is not going to be all that easy. I've just got a standard Fender uh, molded case, which fits okay, but uh, is where they've actually put in the, uh, the pin for the back. If you ever wanted to move that, you're going to need to get another screw because it's also the neck plate. So, but all in all, pretty cool sounding guitar. Got to love that headstock. That's just crazy good. It's a gloss neck on the back. Um, I tend to prefer the drier feel neck, so I might get the old uh, zero zero grip on that. The humbuckers not too bad. I don't know whether I'll change them. Um, seem to be getting a bit more um, output from the neck pickup, but that might just be I've not adjusted anything yet. So I literally just got this out of the box and the old Clusons at the back, which are quite cool. Very vintage sort of looking guitar. Uh, now let's hear some sounds. And I'd like to know what you think about it, so let me know. Uh, first it's going to be clean, and I'll go through all the pickups. I'll give you an idea what it sounds like if I pick heavy or pick light on a crunchy tone. Uh, the next one is, yeah, just uh, some riff tones. Check out the tones. Thanks to Matt Poole for putting me onto the guy, which turns out they do have them in Australia. <laughs> 